It is great to have you back here at Coin Lady Channel. Dear everyone, Brad Garlin House, CEO of XRP, has made some quite outlandish comments about the ETFs that may be coming out soon. In this video, we will go over some of the important announcements that Brad has made today, as well as some interesting developments involving XRP tokens. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button before we jump in. So, it's good to see you all again on the channel. It appears like Bitcoin might be about to retest 71,000, and XRP is having a decent share of that, going up to 5,253 about 1% on the day. As always, make sure to turn that notification bell on and click all so you don't miss a live stream, an update, a new token launch, and everything else in this cryptocurrency bull run. However, it is intriguing to see that our volume is beginning to recover slightly above 8.1%, approximately at $1.16 billion. What then would you like us to discuss? We are familiar with the theory behind exchange-traded funds, ETFs, and many are anticipating their arrival within the next four weeks. Additionally, the announcement on the XRP ETF was made public today, by Brad Garland's residents. Behold, the XRP ETF. In the next year, which isn't too far off, but to state that I anticipate its arrival here in 2025. The Ethereum, pardon the pun, exchange-traded funds, ETFs, may finally launch in 2025. This is not some arbitrary target year. As far as anyone knows, Brad Garland House has met with Larry Fink, who is ultimately responsible for steering BlackRock's strategy. Something intriguing is that they are now not purchasing Bitcoin. Yet, that may change in the near future, with the debut of the Ethereum ETF just around the corner. It will be fascinating to observe the market's reaction to the possibility of an XRP ETF. A lot of people think that the bull market will peak in August or September of 2025. We were discussing this on my live stream. In the run-up to those all-time highs, XRP may actually sit flawlessly. Bitcoin may be in the cards for $161,7200,000, according to many people. For this reason, we are witnessing large-scale acquisitions taking place behind the scenes involving XRP and Solana. Even while XRP's performance has lagged behind its rivals, the $299 million price tag begs the question, are whales placing large bets on rallies and buying up XRP? Although XRP has lagged behind the rest of the altcoin market, there is a significant distinction between the two. Even if Coinbase and a number of others are involved in the pending SEC action, the majority of the cryptocurrency market is not. However, the big distinction is that nobody knows what's going to happen next. An inferior version of XRP will emerge, in my opinion. We observed Bitcoin ETFs and Theory ETFs, and some could ask why we're bringing this up, as these have zero bearing on the settlement in Secretary. The sentiment is excellent, nevertheless, in my opinion. Instead of the other way around, when it came to cryptocurrency, we saw Joe Biden defeat SAS-121, because it was going to pass. The SEC was going to lose control of the crypto markets, and we were going to lean heavily toward the CFTC, which would have been a fantastic commodities futures trading board. Nevertheless, it was vetoed by Joe Biden, yet this is precisely why Nance is selling 25 million XRP, and why people are buying XRP in the end. Now. For those of you who have been following my channel and watching my live streams, you probably already know the meaning of this. Despite widespread belief to the contrary, it is not an actual negative trend that is causing individuals to panic and sell. Personally, I think the inverse is true, that individuals are purchasing it off of those exchanges with the intention of holding on to it for the future. I also think it's critical to note the distinction here. This is not trading volume, rather, it represents individuals purchasing spot XRP with the intention of holding onto it for the future. When considering its future, I believe this is crucial. 
A considerable amount, 25 million XRP, is leaving Binance, and this is becoming increasingly common, more and more, whales and accumulation buyers are making these kinds of purchases. On the other hand, price suppression is happening because investors are cashing in on the opportunity. Looking at the technicals, though, reveals that our cryptocurrency, along with the market as a whole, is experiencing a pleasant uptrend, and this pattern has persisted all the way back to April. XRP is expected to make a good rise, as the RSI and MACD are both tracking precisely in the middle. There are a couple of critical things I'm looking for right now, first, a rise in volume at the bottom, second, the continuation of the uptrend from this 50-day simple moving average. The exponential moving average on that shorter time frame, or on the 100-day exponential moving average, now includes some of these important factors for travelers. When we begin to get ready for that change, I would want to see XRP retesting these slightly higher levels around the 55 to 57 zone. Take a look at this SEC value SEM many individuals anticipate that it will occur by the year's end, while others speculate that it may arrive earlier. Thinking about the settlement has made it all but silent. His previous appearance was very unexpected, and the XRP price skyrocketed, but in 2025, I would appreciate your feedback. Is the launch of an XRP ETF still in the future? Well, that concludes our video. Do me a favor and subscribe to my channel. Coming up shortly, farewell.